If you don't add to who I am or multiply what I am, subtract yourself now. I don't deal in division. I'm on a mission. Did you ever smack a gal in the face? Oh, no. Put your No. Because she asked you to. I felt like I was violating. But your wish is my command. I smacked the shit I left a little two inch well right there. I got a little pecker. I got a little pecker. But I'm real good at math. Did you know if you work them angles right? Three inches feels like ten. They call me arithmetic. I love y'all. Hey there, crybabies. The fuck is going on? I just printed out a bunch of shit from one of my old phones. I call this incomplete thoughts from my notes and drafts. I'm gonna see if I can piece it together. This might take a minute. We have created a world with such little authenticity because we discourage independent thought and we reward groupthink. The world has become one big college entrance interview Everyone pretending to be who they think they're supposed to be. And no one being true to themselves. You will never fall. Rest in peace, MCA. You want to save humanity? Eliminate social media and participation trophies. And return accomplishment and accountability. Riddle me this. I am the only thing that truly matters. But I do not actually exist. What am I? Now, I don't understand social media, but I do understand math. And all of these algorithms are designed to cripple humanity, to keep us irrational, to sow divisiveness, but more importantly, to keep us distracted, to create passive participants in life living vicariously through others in a little four inch world. To me, social media is a Ponzi scheme, and the commerce is your time. It manipulates millions out of their most vital tendencies. I think it's because we so easily conflate wants and needs. Needs. Time. Without time, nothing else matters. If you have time, you need air, water, food, opportunity, maybe hope and faith, you do you. What do you really need? What is it that you want? Why is that more important than what you need? We keep putting so much value on things that there's little room left for people. Greed, desire, self-importance. Combine all of our weaknesses in one and there's still nothing more crippling than our collective inabilities to calculate time. I feel like I think until we stop putting things first, we can never realize our true potential. We are being finessed out of the most precious commodity, what we waste the most of. You can't trade it on NASDAQ. No matter how much money you have, you can't get more. But, 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 some, but, some, but someone said some bullshit on the social media. I had, to, I had to get after it. I had to do like the thing when you do this thing, getting all mad and shit. If you got time, time's more valuable than gold. Someone starts some bullshit on social media, guess what? You go, scoop like that, and it goes away. You, just, you go like that, and they disappear. It's fucking magic. You fucking, you put your finger right on like that, and you do one like that. It fucking goes to the next person saying something fucking miserable. Then you can do it again. Or you can fucking not open it. Maybe try that one out. I better go back in my hood. However many sands you have in your little flippy doohickey thing, that's all the sands you got. Fucking spending hours and hours getting bent out of shape for some... Someone saying something about something that they don't know less than you know about. That don't make sense. Fucking wasting three hours of your day getting mad, arguing with someone that knows less about something than you know. And you know you know nothing about it, but you're like, fucking, I know one thing, and it ain't what he's saying, so rawr, fucking, let's fucking go crazy. I know that technology is the future, but is it really the future you want? An algorithm. <laughs> People far, far smarter than you and I. 
who may or may not manipulate that algorithm. But is an algorithm what you want to dictate your life? Did you know when asked, what is the meaning of life? No one in history ever said social media, never mentioned. No rational person ever would. But everyone's fighting about things neither of them can comprehend because no one's telling the truth. How does anyone know what's real and what's not? Instead of sliding into some girl's DM, why not walk up to him and be like, God damn, you are beautiful. I'm sorry to be forward, but I was on my way and I didn't want to let this opportunity pass. You are so beautiful. I don't know if you got a man or if he's treating you right, but give me a shot. Oh, that was it. All a bunch of them are going to come through. Let's see if we can do something here. Hold up. Wait a minute. Get back. What up? What up? My phone's going crazy. He just called me. I had to go on because I was talking. What was I talking about? If someone on social media is ruining your day, scroll the fuck on. You know how many hours that just saved? How much time that just saved? How many lives that just saved? What's up, Nobel? I gave you all a couple little sands back in your little thing. No words have ever injured anyone. I looked, checked history again. Sure, they can hurt if you allow them to. There are going to be people who refuse to be kind, to be decent. That's why we teach us. <laughs> this guy, uh, a couple months ago, he was like, Hey man, fuck you, your mom's a hoe! <laughs> fucking little chubby kid in fucking skinny jeans, his whole ass was out. He's like, man, fuck you, your mom's a hoe! She sucked dick! I was like, yeah! She, she likes the big ones, she likes them really big. She's the one who taught me I'm rubber your glue, motherfucker. She's gonna be okay. It's just some words. I feel like we need a sticks and stones refresher course in this motherfucker. Be kind, be decent. Stay the fuck out of the way of the bullshit. Find a purpose. Live your life like it was for that purpose. Not living vicariously through, don't. I'm doing this for me. If this reaches anybody, this is for me. I got a lot of healing to do, and this is this is it for me. I've got to speak for a lot of people before, and I've never got to see what I had to say. Fuck you. You're not going to cry, you pussy. Let's start holding one another accountable for our actions instead of crucifying others for some select words, strategically edited words, or maybe insensitive words. Maybe they made a mistake. But if you look at their collective actions... Why don't we hold people accountable to that? We can all do better, better for the environment and better for one another. I don't know why I'm talking about the environment. Like I said, these were incomplete thoughts that I fucking just printed out a whole bunch of them and I'm trying to make sense of it all. I say just suck it up. Take all the small L's. All of them, just take them. I'll take them, you can take some if you want to take them. You'll be okay, I promise. Someone on social media is, I had to fight. All right, you win. They won. In their head. Most of this doesn't matter. Just take all the small L's. So that you'll never be the one to lose it. I think I was trying to say something there. It doesn't take much effort to be kind. It takes even less to walk away. We become so programmed to attack at the few differences. We react so quickly that we usually stop listening once we hear what we want to. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Most people are so miserable that they'd rather drag you back down to their level instead of putting in the work to lift themselves up to where you're at. Or are you the one pulling back? Don't be that person. Be the best version of yourself and present that to everyone you encounter. Make them up their game. I think we should put martial arts on everything. Everyone starts as a white belt. When you prove you're a decent human being, maybe you get a stripe. 
Imagine what the world would look like with a bunch of blue and purple belts working so hard to be that fucking black belt. Someone out humanities me, that makes me feel some type of way. Makes me hungry to look further out at the world and see what I'm missing. Why didn't I see that that old lady was going in that door? Because I was caught up looking at this fucking thing. I think we're all guilty and all likely serving a life sentence. Unless we change the math, take control of the variables, become our own solution. Fucking algorithm. Turn your timeline, turn these feeds into what you want it to be. For me, that's just the good news. I want to hear about the old lady who fucking saved the bird that fell down the well. She had a broken hip. She had to climb on the ground with a broken hip. This is true. Old ass lady saved a bird that fell down one of them little, not a well, what's it called? Little drainage joint. Old lady saved a bird with a broken ass hip. The bird had a fucked up wing too. But anyway, she saved it. Where's that at in the world? Instead, it's fucking Logan Paul interviewing motherfuckers that just hung themselves. The lowest point in humanity. I think we need more Gary Marshalls and less Brett Ratners. More Hallmark Channel and less influencers. No. More Dennis Rodman. But I was so conditioned to attack, point out those few differences when we're all more than 99% alike. Right? Everyone gets a group now, but no one feels included. No one feels accepted. Everyone fighting to point out their differences. Right? We're a little bit different than them, so we got a group. We're a little bit different than them, so we got a group. How about instead of putting everyone in a group, everyone's just another motherfucker? That's all we are. That's all we are. Right? It's basic math. The more groups you put people into, the more we will be divided. Nobody but you gets to decide what you do with and who uses your little sands of time start being active participants in life but instead we, we just go through the motions stop sharing and following and start leading a life of your own one that you dictate one that you find the things that make you move make you who you are right there are enough challenges in life why are we creating our own obstacles as long as we are distracted we remain obedient it's not about the truth, it's about occupying your time. Our time, our actions, our emotions. Technology controls most of it because we allow it to. That algorithm created by that fallible, fallible man. Dictating everything. All right, technology is supposed to Save us time. Fucking GPS saved me four minutes. It gave me some reroute about some bullshit. What are we doing with that time? Have you calculated the time technology saved you? Sure, fucking cars. We've had cars. Much better than horse and buggy. I get it. But how much extra is extra? When is enough going to be enough? When is this little four inch gonna be enough my four inches is never enough <sighs> when will the entire walls inside our house have to be interactive run some numbers see where your pluses and minuses are with technology how much is it saving you right Tuesday night I was looking at this fucking cute little kitten playing with a ball of yarn little monster they know I'm allergic, they come and find me. But I was watching a video, fucking playing with a ball of yarn. Come Saturday morning, I got a list for y'all. Come Saturday morning, I'd seen this little Indonesian fella with a stick. With a stick made a spa with a waterfall. Four different locations, four different designs with a stick. I see nine guys that don't answer questions. Said to the guy, I don't answer any questions. Said, I don't answer any questions. Guy's like, what's that? He's like, I don't answer any questions. Yelling through his window loud like that. Cop's like, you don't answer any questions. He's like, no. 
So now at this point in their interaction, he'd already answered two questions. See this little fat fuck eating four million calories, give or take? Little fat guy about nine years old, his face was so fat you couldn't see his eyes. Y'all are encouraging it. Fucking giving him likes. See someone eating mice, little mouses, little mouses, dipping them in some sauce. They was running around on the plate. He did a little dippy do and put them in his fucking mouth and someone else ate a bat. That's why we got in this bullshit. It's just a joke. See these other cocksuckers fill up a pool with these things they call Orbeez. They're kind of like reverse shrinky dinks. Remember shrinky dinks? Filled up a pool with them just because they could. We're doing it. That's because of us. That ain't that ain't damn. That's because of us. Saw 73 different political ads. 1,400 people do the same fucking dance. They're like, do, 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 do. They seen the other ones where they shake their titties like that. I seen all the dances. They all do the same goddamn thing. Don't know why I'm talking like this. What the fuck is wrong with me? Saw these other pieces of shit. Smash a Lamborghini. Because that's cool. Hope they took the engine out first. Saw six UFC highlights. Saw vegan ice cream. The fuck is that? There's two ingredients, ice and cream, and you can't have one. Go fuck yourself. Carvel banana, what's up? Mint chocolate chip. Saw a whole bunch of lunatics saying that. I, I kid you not. They're saying that Kobe Bryant is the goat. That stands for greatest of all time. Fucking common core. Saw a bunch of celebrities with a lighting crew. You know, a team hair, makeup and everything saying, hang in there. During coronavirus, just hang in there. Cut, all right, fuck them, I'm out of here. That's kind of how it went, I imagine. Saw seven different fights in a fast food restaurant. Saw a face slap competition. That was pretty good. <laughs> Slapping the shit out of one another. Maybe we need more of that. Get you acting right. So a bunch of people posting their good deeds on social media. They, they weren't just doing it because they were felt like they should do it. They're like, hey, hey camera crew, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do some good shit. I want you to record this so people think I do good shit. So a bunch of gals smacking the shit out of their man, or their gals, with their purse. Apparently that's cute. People like that. People like people are like ha ha like it like it I like it I like it I like it I like it ha 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 I like it ha ha like it. Saw fake Uber drivers doing some bullshit. Now I saw a bunch of couples pretend like they were having arguments and fights because that's cute. I saw Jake Paul. It wasn't bad enough there was a Logan. Y'all had to make a, 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 what the fuck his name? I forgot it. Saw that salt bay. You know the salt bay? He fucking puts like, he goes salty, 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 and it hits his elbow. Like, it, it hits his elbow, and then it goes every which way on the meat. Got me caught up. I was watching. I like that. All kinds of people recording. People beating other people up. They had the phone like, hey, none of them were like, hey, maybe we shouldn't fight. You go your way. You go your way. I said, go your, I said, go, motherfucker, go your way. Motherfucker, get the fuck on. But they was like, no, I got my phone. I'm going to do like this. Hey, do it, do it. Seen this fat gal, Tammy. She made me laugh. She ain't never light her cigarette. She doing like my daddy used to do when she, he smoke a cigarette. He tried to talk and just smack up and hit him in the eye. He burned his mustache once because he was so mad. He was like, all right, he smoked it all the way down and burned his mustache. I laughed. He whooped my ass. I didn't laugh no more. <laughs> Saltine Mom, there's an OG version. Uh, uh, I didn't want to search no further. I just, I did my thing. Uh, I saw these other fellas. They had to go and fucking smack someone's phone and break their phone so they can give them another phone. Why? Yeah, why not be like, hey, here's a phone. If I'll give you a brand new phone if you give me your phone, and I'm going to take that phone and maybe give it to someone who ain't got a phone. Tattoo far. We fucking snooky on it. Bunch of people 
thinking it's cute to go and give someone that might be kind of a friend or might, I don't know what the fuck it's all about, but they're like, hey, we're going to give each other the worst fucking tattoo we could possibly think of because that's a thing. Anything for attention, for a like. What didn't I see? Any of the good news? All right, a little bit, 11%. As much as 15, maybe. I guess my, my only question with that is what the fuck did any of that have to do with the cute little kitten playing with the fucking ball of yarn? I lost three and a half days. I thought the fucking kitten playing with the ball of yarn was cute. I am a castaway. The more internetted we get, the more tangled we become in its web of distraction. No slander, no libel, no need for retraction. Don't know what I meant there. How many coincidences, how many coincidences need to occur before it becomes calculations? Before conspiracy theory is chaos theory. Basic math made to look complex. Run some numbers, ask more questions. Everything, everywhere. Algorithms decide who influences. How about a competition? I like those. Right, everything's follow, share, retweet, dirty flurkins, fucking regurgitate everything. Never think for ourselves, never ever. Why would that be encouraged? Right, hypnotized by whomever they tell you to be. Because they're shaking whichever shiny thing in our face. Whatever's the next cute thing. <laughs> look over here, look over here. Who is they? Anyone that is not you. Any person that you let control your time. That's money out of your pocket. Another algorithm decides what's true and what's false. Another decide what comes next. Are we a bunch of lamb being led to a slow, miserable slaughter? Our weakness is many, but our potential is plenty. Uh, social media is a thirst trap. 64% negative. 20% ads, 15% cute good, and 1% Carol fucking Baskin, whatever the fuck that is. Nearly two thirds of it negative. False. Misinformation, misrepresentation, parts of a transcript, an edited video, 713 filters on a photo. It's somebody deceiving somebody nearly two-thirds of the time. That's terrifying to me. Nothing on social media matters, not really. No matter which lies they're pouring, we just drink it up till the last drop. I don't think we matter enough to warrant the right to judge anyone for anything. Except for wearing skinny jeans. Cut that the fuck out. Holy shit. Who the hell made that a thing? I'm just kidding. I don't judge anyone. It's not my job. Who am I? Who are any of us? But an improbability. If we took all of the maths. All of the maths of all of the maths. Can you imagine the privilege it must take to pretend like we matter? Why are we spending any of our time in this bullshit? We're all less than a fart in any true equation. Let's run some numbers, you know. We're not even supposed to be here today. None of us, not today, not ever. How unlikely is it for any of us to be here? We all, I, we, we all raised a million plus other motherfuckers just to be here, just to get a shot. One in a million. Point zero 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 one. You were the Michael Phelps of that match. The gold medal, the podium, national anthem, the whole nine. You know how lucky we are just to get a run at this? Why are we wasting it in this bullshit? Just to be one of seven billion. Made up of 37 trillion unique cells. That can never be repeated, only deleted. it. Point zero 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 one. 
just to be one of seven billion plus the other that came before us 200,000 years worth of man or depending on how you're let's use math for now 200,000 years of man on an earth that's 4.5 billion years old that's point zero 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 four just for mankind's existence and we think we matter to be one of seven billion on an earth if you picked up the whole earth the earth picked up the whole fucking earth got your legs and bob lift with your legs picked up the whole fucking earth and fucking threw it into the sun you'd have to do that 1.5 million more times just to fill the sun and we think we matter all of that in probability just to get maybe 80 years right if we're lucky technology there's some good in that we got longer lifespans i get it i understand it i love it but otherwise subtract delete swipe scroll right the fuck on past the negative the thirst trap your time is being purchased with ads i know how fun it is to resist libtard orange man bad snowflake everyone's got to get fucking something to piss them off how about not today fucking do the scrolly thing little shoot i didn't even that didn't even they said some bullshit maybe i don't even know because i didn't think about it you telling me that you don't have that three-year-old's impulse control fucking <laughs> social media is the fucking candy bowl in front of the little kid fucking don't don't i gotta i mean i gotta fucking I, I really want this candy but they told me not to i really am ah the fucking uh, we lost Life used to be about finding a companion, a purpose, a connection. Now it's all designed to get a like, some artificial sense of existence, I suppose. So the most astounding thing before I left on Palisades Park in LA, four college age gals ran out of a car, ran up most beautiful overlook, sun setting, they fucking took 700 pictures. Their fingers were going like, <laughs> fucking ran back in their car. And not one of them actually turned and looked at the fucking sun setting. Not one of them saw the fuck, uh, the old couple that were sitting, sitting on a bench smoking a joint watching the sunset. But they got the photo, I'm sure, of one of those 700 might have meant something. How did we get here? Who's the first person thought, hey, you know what? We fucking matter. We fucking matter. And I'm gonna make sure everyone knows it. Fucking. They should've been like, listen, none of us matter. We're only gonna be here for 37 years and then 50 years later, like, oh, we're gonna be here for 39 years and then 100 years later, like, all right, we can live about 80 years, but who told us that we mattered? Instead of crippling one another, why not lift each other up? Just be kind. It might not change anything, but I guarantee you it makes your life feel more fulfilled. Right, 80 years, if we're lucky. 80 years and we're already sacrificing two thirds of that to sleep and work. That's 54, 26 to go. <laughs> Y'all, we eat. We eat, especially Americans, four, five, six years worth of eating, you fat fucks. pot for sure imagine we chewed like normal actually enjoyed and think what we were consuming instead of shoveling it through by the mounds all at one time really you needed 12 eclairs be on it did you need all 12 all 100 munchkins you needed all of them right you couldn't be like all right let's uh let's lower it to 63 today today we're gonna do and then we get her down to a reasonable number where you're like all right if i fucking take a couple of these then i don't have to change anything i can you know, function normally, but I need all 100 of them for some reason. I don't understand. The only diet that truly works is math. If you burn more calories than you consume, 99 point whatever percent of the time, you're gonna lose weight. It's not calculus, pluses and minuses. We got 20 years left. How many hours a day you fuck with technology? Four hours, one six, 16%. Probably use it more than that, right? Huffington Post says as much as 11 years if you believe anything they say. 12 if you drive or commute regularly. Eight if you went to school, high school. If you went to college, there's less. Seven. You know they say the average person spends another seven years 
trying to sleep. I know the numbers are all included in some other parts, so let's say some of that because of technology, give the years over there, what, we got three years left, four, four years left? Run your own numbers. Tell me how much time you're wasting. Is that social media post looking any less important yet? Engaging in an online battle with an avatar? Life is like mathematics. If you subtract the negative, it becomes a positive. Just start removing all the bullshit from your life, watch. All them pluses are gonna start being like doop 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 I got too many pluses. <sighs> Watch, you'll be alright. I say fuck social media. No one ever seems happy afterwards. It ain't working. Everyone is still lying. How important is that thirst trap? Nothing on social media matters. We got three, four years left. Four percent. We ain't even fallen in love yet. We ain't. We can fall in love, can't we? Fall in love and out of love and in love and out of love. Ain't none of that been calculated yet. Right? Man, we fall in love, don't we? Like, I've never felt this way before. For the 74th time this year. <laughs> we ain't done nothing fun yet. We ain't struck out with the prettiest gal in the room because why the fuck not? Right? That's part of life. It builds character. But we'll torture ourselves because we know it's not a good relationship, but we still try to mash that round peg into that square box. Makeup sex is fun. How much time we have left? Three years? We ain't laughed yet. We ain't even laughed. Maybe you laugh at work or in your sleep, you weirdos. But we haven't actively gone out and sought things that made us feel some type of way, a song, a joke. We did improv or stand up or parasailed or skydived, skydove, skydivid, skydivided. We haven't done anything fun. We haven't laughed. I've squandered more opportunity than any one man deserves to have. The only thing I want is opportunity and to make a bunch of babies. How many sands y'all got left? We ain't shattered no pelvises. Y'all like the gym? We got two years left. But like, social media is my passion. It's my fucking passion. <laughs> I need to get into some bullshit today. <laughs> How much time y'all take getting ready every day? We got... How important is that hashtag? You got one year left. All emotion and no substance is not a good look on anyone. Emotions cripple our capabilities to think, process, and or calculate. They're also incredibly vital to making us who we are. But instead of processing them through our little emoji boxes, process them through your logic box. Maybe live with this, guided by this. I don't know how it works. I say, fuck beer goggles. We got fear goggles. Everyone's scared to be themselves. Imagine if you lied or misrepresented truth you were eliminated from the social media privilege three strikes and you're out forever everyone has to tell the truth say whatever the fuck you want but it's got to be true can't make up no bullshit three strikes and you're out i just gave millions of people their life back what's up nobel imagine if slander and libel really were a thing again social media would go bankrupt people would have to go back to being active members of life instead of allowing an algorithm to dictate where they go and how they move and who they are Choose your own path. Find a way. Imagine if we use this same energy and outrage and technology to save lives in other ways. Phone companies could make our phones useless for anything other than GPS while in motion, but they won't. Right? Even if you're a passenger, have a conversation. Fucking shut the phones down when we're moving unless it's for GPS or maybe you could pay to upgrade to be a fucking, I don't know, passenger that is allowed to use some shit. Why? Fucking wait. You're going four minutes to the tanning salon. Really? You got to fucking be on your Snapchat? That would eliminate all the phone-related accidents and deaths. How many lives did that save? What's up, Nobel? Phone companies, shut them down. Shut them, shut them down. Rideshare companies could have a breathalyzer built into their phone. It exists. Just fucking give them away. Give them away. No more drunk fucking people driving or driving other people. Give it to the passengers, too, so you know how drunk and ridiculous they are sometimes. Right? Now you have information. Oh, it's a violation of my fucking right to be a piece of shit. No. 
It's not. It's just information. You're allowed to get wasted, but you're not allowed to get wasted and drive people around. You're not allowed to get wasted and act like a piece of shit. Ah, about fucking, nope, not allowed. New rules. Fear is a powerful debilitator. The human condition is so wounded. Tech companies and government has control of our minds because they have control of our time. Right? Time. Time. Everything with the government takes time. There's a, there's a process, a fucking permit for everything. Uh, we got a committee we gotta talk to about some shit. We'll get back to you in about four to six uh, somethings. Social media is an algorithm created by man. Man, blinded by power and desire. Man, man, if you're distracted, you remain obedient. 83% of the news is masked as opinion. Maybe if we took away social media and opining from a news desk, people might stop talking about one another and start focusing on themselves. Fox News has six hours a day, that's 25%. MSNB New, M MSNBC News, four hours, up to six hours sometimes, 16 to 25%. CNN, two, three, four hours, sometimes 90 minutes. Saw it six hours once. So what's that, six, 10, 25%? There are few, if any, journalists left. Everyone's a fucking commentator or a personality. Fucking check me out. I fucking say shit that fucking does nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you're in the news, go up there and say the news. Don't fucking be like, hey, uh, fucking, the fucking fucker, the fucking, about the fucking, the fucking fucker, and the fucking, and the thing, and the fucking, and the fucking, and, the fucking, and, the fucking, and he fucking did the fucking thing. Just give the fucking news. There's no accountability if everything's masked as an opinion. Well, they're allowed to say what they want. Okay, give them a show called They Get to Say What They Want. Don't call it the news. Do we not deserve the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? You want to know what entitlement is? It's believing that anything on social media truly matters. It's like my life. No, it's my passion to uh, about whatever the fuck it is this week. Live it. Don't speak it. You wouldn't know passion if it hit you in the cooter. Oh, let's debate to the death. How about that? Everyone, everyone's an expert. Everyone knows everything about everything. The debate loser leaves politics. The death of your political career. If you lie or misrepresent truth on social media, or if you think you're an expert and want to say some shit, debate somebody. Tell the truth. See who wins. See who's telling the truth. Truth. I like mathematics. I let it dictate almost everything for me. My heart is too powerful and too irrational. I care much more than I'm capable of processing, so I don't allow this to lead me. And that's probably one of my biggest crutches, but I don't think so. If you don't add to who I am or multiply what I am, subtract yourself now. I don't deal in division. I'm on a mission. If I can't change the variables, I remove myself from the equation. I don't get it. Why be a part of the problem when you can be your own solution? Lose the pollution. Decent human being challenge. Do something nice, be kind. Don't post it on social media. Do it because you're like, hey shit, I should do something for that fucking squirrel that fucking just got ran over. No, don't do nothing with that. You'd be like, just be a decent person. Fucking, you're making me crazy. Y'all want kids? Wanna spend quality time with them? We haven't calculated any of that yet. How many sands are left? How many you got? How important is that social media post? <laughs> Can you imagine what the next people, like hundreds of thousands of years or whatever from now when the next species comes on this motherfucker? Like, we discovered dinosaur bones. We're like, yo, shit, look at they got that. This one got little bitty arms. Hey, they got little bitty arms. They got little bitty arms. They're gonna find ours and be like, hey, Hey y'all, y'all, y'all come, y'all, I see, come here, I got a thousand. They'll be like, hey, come here. The fuck are all of these attachments? Like, what, what, what is all that gooey shit where the titties are supposed to be? The fuck is going on? Why they got all this extra? They didn't need it, why did they get it? And I don't know why they talk like that, but they do. They fucking do. One fella's gonna grab all the skinny jeans that were left behind because they're useless and they'll be like, hey, you know what? They're not so useless. We can make a fucking sale out of this. We can make a big ass sale and we can sell the fuck where we gotta go. Check it out. Every time someone says something nasty to you, say two nice things back to them. 
and watch as their brain starts to malfunction and be like, the fucking, I got a knee. A certain percent will be like, all right, I got, I got, I got a little bit more bullshit in me and they're going to come back. Give them two more. Right? And then there's like that little bit of extra piece of shit person, that sociopath and the, like, ah, I'm going to fucking give you some more bullshit. Give them two more nice things. And then move the fuck on. Be a decent human being. In conclusion, we are doomed by our inability to see our own insignificance. The greatest lie in history was convincing ourselves that we matter. We are all at least several decimal places away from mattering. I got so many likes for that thing that I did, that I copied off of that person that copied it off of that person that was in that movie that I liked. None of us matter. I would say social media, AKA Operation Conditioning, is a roaring success. I love y'all.